getting a six pack, it's a lifestyle change. It cannot be done just by doing ab training alone. It may or may not be able to achieve it by nutrition alone. Because getting a six pack, it's low body fat percentage. There are many strongmen out there. They have the strongest abs in the world because they have to be able to handle so much weight to protect their lower backs. They have to be able to resist uh, rotational torque. They have the strongest abs, but many of them don't have visible abs because they are covered by a layer of fat. Getting a six pack or getting leaner abs is a goal for many people, but you have to look at the overall body to get the abs. You cannot just keep training abs just to get abs. I don't look at ab training just to get abs. I look at ab training to develop the skill, to develop the strength, so I can continue lifting heavy without being injured. It doesn't make sense to try to aim for a six pack if you're not going to do anything for the rest of your body. Like I've never seen anyone have a six pack and have high body fat in their legs or high body fat in their arms. The whole body loses body fat in order to get abs. The best way to get abs is you got to do full body workouts. You got to be able to train all the muscles in your body and you have to eat properly outside the gym. I'm not going to tell you guys that abs are always made in the kitchen. I'm going to tell you guys abs are a combination of nutrition, working out properly, and getting the right hormonal profile. So abs are a product of getting the right hormones. That means not having constantly elevated insulin caused by eating carbs throughout the day. That means correcting your testosterone and your growth hormone. How do you correct your growth hormone? You cannot have constantly elevated insulin levels. And how to correct testosterone? Have effective full body workouts without overtraining and eat properly. Eat the diet that promotes higher testosterone. That means eat three, four whole eggs for breakfast. My breakfast today was four whole eggs, broccoli, lettuce, beets, and unsweetened chocolate. So that diet consisted of high amounts of cholesterol and high amounts of saturated fat. The amount of carbs is very low in this breakfast. So in a way, I'm promoting high testosterone, high amounts of growth hormone, and low amounts of insulin. And I'm also adjusted my body to burn off uh, fat energy instead of carb energy so I would stay full longer. I actually only eat three meals a day, sometimes four. I know most bodybuilders or most fitness enthusiasts, they would eat six meals a day, but I've done that before and I didn't enjoy it after five years of doing it. I have to give credit to uh, some of the bodybuilders that follow low carb diets, like Ben Pakulski and uh, John Kiefer, who wrote uh, Car Back Loading. Just by following them on YouTube or following them on the websites, they provided great advice like not having carbs for breakfast or not eating carbs before workouts. And they had great reasons why you don't want to do it. I know if my diet consisting of lots of dietary cholesterol and high amounts of saturated fat, people are going to tell me, you're going to have a heart attack or that's too much fat, you're going to have high cholesterol or heart problems. But I've actually compared my blood pressure and heart rate of eating this way versus eating the typical meals most people eat, which consists of uh, moderate or high amounts of carbs. And I find my blood pressure and my heart rate are lower when I eat high fats, high cholesterol, no carbs. It doesn't really make sense for me to eat a diet that will make my heart rate and my blood pressure go up when it actually also makes me feel more tired. Because eating high fat, low carb, I'm actually more energized 
than eating high amounts of carbs at breakfast. At one point, I used to have a heart rate of close to 100 just by eating carbs at breakfast. Even my blood pressure was past 140 over 90 just by eating high amounts of carbs. When I switched to oatmeal, it actually um, brought it down a little bit, but not to the point I have today. Today, my blood pressure is under 120 over 80, uh, depending on the day, and my heart rate is around 50 to 60. I know I'm not a doctor, but it really doesn't make sense to me to have someone eating a diet marketed as healthy and then end up having to take blood pressure medication to uh, make their heart work less hard.